How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for Farm Simulator 22 on the Mod Map Somerset Farms. And we're going to start with the description from the Mod Hub and it reads, Somerset Farms which is based in various places around the UK. This map has 50 fields. This map has 5 animal yards, custom lighting XML, collectibles, UK license plate built onto map, has a lake where you can get water, BGA area, what you can also use as placeable area. This map has been updated and I'm going to read change log 1.1.0.0 and it says remove people walking in the sky, remove rubbish laying around the fields and pig yard, added more gates, remove shadows from map collisions, remove concrete pad on outside of map, Replace a silage bunker at the cow yard. Fix pond area. You can now place your own sleep trigger. Place floating trees on ground. Added base game production so no extra mods needed. Added base cell points. This map was created by Steve's Mods and is 187.27 megabytes to download. There are no mods required for this map. And if we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. You start out with farmlands number 41, 44, 45, and 47. You can purchase all areas of the map that is available on this map, as you can see. Field prices do range, and as you can see, come out here, you can purchase all the kind of peripheral areas for no dollars. Prices do range, you can see from, I saw 55,000 just all depends on the size of the field 58,000 so not too bad ranging all the way up to 200,000 got uh, yeah, another 200,000 there yeah so not bad on the prices whoops uh, you do start out with animal pens as you see sheep pasture cow barn large pig pasture horse barn under contracts you do have the ability to have contracts and you start out with a pair of production chains. You have an oil mill and the cereal factory. There are mods specific to this map. Nothing under the shop menu, but under the build mode, if you look under sheds, nothing there. Under silos, nothing. Silo extensions, nothing. Containers, you do have the medium petrol tank. Under tools, nothing. Farmhouses, nothing. Productions nothing selling points nothing greenhouses orchards and generators nothing under animal pens cows nothing horse nothing sheep chickens bees others decorations nothing lighting nothing and others nothing under painting several additional swatches which is nice trees nothing and plants nothing so now because we're at a starting farm let's take a look at what we start out with equipment wise under the shop menu under owned items you do get quite a bit under small tractors you get the case maxim cvx 115 under medium tractors the mccormick x8 627 vt drive under large tractors the case maxim 340 cvx drive under Harvesters, the Russell Mash Nova 330. Under Trailers, the Kloss Carrot 140 TD, the header for the Russell Mash. Under Plows, the Convernland Eco Mat. Under Cultivators, the Horsch Toronto 3FX. Under Power Harrows, the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Under Cedars, the Amazon Catea 3000 Super. Under Planters, the Amazon Persia 4500 2C Super. Under sprayers, you have the rear Hardy Mega 1200L, as well as the front Hardy Mega 1200L tank. Under fertilizer spreaders, the Amazon ZATS 3200. Under tetters, the K-Brand GF8712. Windrowers, the SIP Air 300F Alp. Balers, the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro. Bale loaders, the FarmTech DPW1800. Front loaders, the Quickie QM, Q5M. Under front loader tools, the Elbut Bale King, Pallet Fork, and Universal Bucket. A header trailer for your header. Under weights, the Tenwinkle B2500. 
And that is it. Let me adjust my notes real quick. All right. And we'll bring up the map so we can see what we're doing. So right here, you can see, is the fuel tank. I Oh, I did miss something back behind me. Missed a couple of things. So right here is the lime station. A whole bunch of our starting equipment, including a bunch of collectibles right off the gate. So unfortunately, there's no way that I'm going to be able to avoid showing a lot of collectibles. They're all very out in the open and very obvious places. So I apologize right up front. Nothing I can do about it. Over here, open the gate, is the cow barn. You can see you can have up to 150 cows here. You have your feed trigger here. You have your slurry trigger right back here. Bunker silo back here. Your milk trigger right there. Here you have your farm silo. Your inputs and your outputs. Some more of your starting equipment all tucked away back there. And now we need to go back across the street and I'm just going to grab me a little tractor. Don't need anything huge. Uh, we'll go with the little guy here. A little case will work just fine. Okay. Now I have to remember that this is a UK map. I need to drive on their side of the road. So here, gonna make a right, followed by an immediate left. Okay. And here you have a cell wood trigger. And this is the sawmill for $100,000. You can purchase this. You have your wood chip uh, output back there. Your input right here and your cell wood trigger here. And your output, I believe is around the back side, right here. Again, nothing I can do about not showing the collectibles. They're pretty much at every major point on the map that's worth showing and yeah, nothing nothing I can do about it. Coming around the back side here. You can see this very large icon to show you where the water point is. You can back right in here, go for a swim. Turn around. Actually, you know what? We'll just pull right in here. Why not? Now here are your starting production points, your oil mill, your cereal factory. Down here is your animal dealer. Not your animal dealer, but the animal dealer. You can purchase from the animal dealer here and have your animals delivered for a fee to your various pens and barns. You can also purchase your animals directly at the pens and barns, also incurring a delivery fee. But if you purchase an animal trailer, bring it down here and load directly into the trailer, you then save the delivery costs. So that is very nice. Behind me is the BGA. Now to purchase the BGA, you have to purchase the land. So let's take a look at the map and see where we've been and what we've seen. We started here at the farm. We took in the lime station, went across the street and saw the fuel tank, the cow barn, and the silo. We then pulled out, grabbed our tractor, 
came down to the main road here, up and around, came here and saw the sawmill and the wood chip sell, uh, production point. We came back out, came around, saw the water tank, aka the water access point. Came through here, we saw the cereal factory, the oil mill, animal dealer, and now we're here looking at the biogas. If you purchase farmland number 56 for $152,304, which I'll go ahead and just borrow the money and do that real quick. Okay. Now. There we go. There it is. We now have access to the biogas plant, solid inputs here, liquid inputs here, liquid outputs, aka digestate, there. Oh, you know what? Inputs for the cereal factory here, outputs here, inputs for the oil mill here, kind of buried into the ground, and outputs right there you also get a bunker silo right there then have to come down here and make our next purchase because again Pretty much every major point of interest is going to have all the collectibles right there. So we came from this collection of production points here, down here, up to here. Now if we purchase formula number 55, we have access to the chickens. hundred of them can fit into this pasture here. Food goes in there and your eggs. I'm fairly certain where I see them spawn. I'm pretty sure they spawn under the... Or no, they're right back here? Yep, right back here. Under the tree. Now I need to turn around. I'm just going to cut through the hedges, which is okay. Going to pull around in this direction. Now we need to head back towards our farm, drive past it to get to the next points of interest. Okay, we'll continue heading in this direction. Heading all the way to the north. Avoiding running into the fencing on either side. To the next farm, this is what I'm calling farm number three. So the chickens were farm number two. This is number three. Now you do not need to purchase the farmland here to have access this sh to this pasture and this barn. Unlike the chickens, you had to purchase this one, that one. But you can purchase this one if you take a look at the map. We came here from the chicken farm down here, down around the road where our farm is out to here. Now farmland number 25 is 121,632. I'm pretty sure buying it, nope, buying it doesn't offer anything in addition. It just, you know, gives you access to the land. The sheep, you can have up to 200. Feed goes in here, water over there, and wool pallets, where did they spawn? Are they back in here? I 
do not remember where I saw the spawn trigger for the pallets. My best guess is it's going to be somewhere somewhere around this area, maybe inside the barn here. It just doesn't have a marker. So now I'm going to head back in the direction of the farm, but not to the farm. down this direction and we're taking this all the way down towards the eastern side of the map Now we're going to make, whoa, that went the wrong lane, silly American. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, we are going to skip this set and head up right to here. And this is farm number four as I call it coming in the back side here again you do not have to purchase the land on this one to have access to this pasture but you can if you want access to land this is the pig pasture you can have oh there it is 400 pigs for this one feed over there and water right there And for some reason, I don't think... Oh, because this is a pasture, you're not going to get slurry. That's right. So now, heading to the next point of interest. Oh, and if you want to purchase this land, we came from the sheep pasture down to here where the road splits. We then followed this all the way up here to... Round back here, purchase formula number 20 is 113,136. So again, you can purchase if you want to, but you don't have to in order to have access to the sheep, or pigs. And I was going the wrong way again. All right. So behind me here is the FCS store bale sell point. And then in front of me is the Cotswold store sell point. Couple of sell points right here. Going across the street, here we have the gas station, and then pulling down here, okay, turn here. All right, now. Right here, towards my left-ish, is the All Spheres store bail cell point. In this kind of pit area here, 
this is the farm store bay one and behind that is something called the fill me silo two as you can see fill me silo two i presume that this is just a straight silo that you have access to i could be wrong about that do you have access to oh you do so a bunch of storage here if you so choose and is this an area you can purchase just out of curiosity oh yes sure is so yeah you can uh, have access to a silo and a bunch of storage space right here and now we have to backtrack ever so slightly Come out to the main road, make a left. Continue heading in this direction. And now we want to make a left down this drive. Did I cut it early? I did cut it early. Oops. Oh well, we'll come through here. And here is farm number five. Again, you don't have to purchase it, but you can have up to eight horses at this pasture. And now we are going to go take in the last point of interest. I can't remember off the top of my head if I said it, but that is what I call farm number five. And now, up here to my left, I turn in here, and pull around. This is the shop trigger. And that is it. That is Somerset Farms. Now, it is, now it's time for my opinion. What do I think of this map? Zero to five scale as normal. I would give this eh, probably about three and a half. Um, there's a couple of issues on the map that I can see that just need to be worked out. They, I wouldn't imagine being too big of an issue, but uh, a couple of spots I saw where the ground was actually poking through. Oh, I'm on the wrong side again. The ground is actually poking through the road roadway, so it just it just looks bad. Um, could use an update the water fill trigger over by the pond or the lake uh, by the biogas plant the button looks huge and probably needs to be shrunk down um, other than that though I think it's a pretty nice looking map there's a lot going on you know the small kind of yards and stuff make for a pretty exciting uh, challenge that you have to deal with I mean there's just so much going on in such a small space that you can very easily like just tack on like extra difficulty like the case in point look at all these tractors that are just squeezed into this tiny little shed here you know I was able to get that tractor out pretty easily but getting it back in might be another situation entirely Actually, I'm going to try it just really quick, because why not? Oh, 
Oh. Butter. Love it. But, uh, yeah, no. I Like I said, give it about three and a half. I, I like it. I like the way everything's kind of laid out and the starting equipment. You got a lot of starting equipment. Um just it's kind of a cool concept uh, and how you can get into various uh how how you're going to manage to get into various different fields and whatnot they all have their own like kind of unique special entrance it seems like so you're gonna have to kind of really learn where things go where things not to go and just kind of go from there and you're gonna have an easy time finding a lot of these collectibles because Because, hey, they're there. Why not? You know, might as well pick them up. But I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms show you doing the show so you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. That being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.